I'm Todd Townsend, and we're here at CES 2015, and I'm here at the booth with Harris at Aleph Objects. Now, Harris, I'm looking here. You've got a 3D printer. You've got some 3D printing software. People are becoming really familiar with 3D printers, but this is very different. There's some open source elements to this. Tell us why this is different in the space of 3D printing. Sure, so this is the all new Lulzbot Mini desktop 3D printer. And we're really proud, it's leading the open consumer technology front. So it's free software, open source hardware, basically you can see how the whole thing works. And uh, there's really nothing that you can't see or learn about this machine. Okay, so if I wanted to buy this printer and, and modify it, make some modifications, could you help me with that or guide us or kind of how does that work? How can I customize this? Sure, so there's 3D printed parts on here, about 30 of them. So you can redesign those and print them on your own machine. Uh, you can also experiment with different types of materials. And if you want, go under the hood and play around with the electronics. That'd be a, those are a few pretty popular mods. So this is kind of a hacker's dream. Someone who really wants to hack the hardware and software and create their own custom solution. They're not locked into anything proprietary, whether it's the, the filament or the print heads or the machine itself. Exactly. Okay, great. And you, maybe you could show us, you have some neat stuff on the table here made out of different materials. Take us through a couple of these things. I've one, heard one of them has some metal in it, as a matter of fact. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So sometimes people wonder, you know, freedom, okay, I get it, that sounds cool, but what does it matter? Well, here's where, the, here's where it really matters, in materials. So this is actually a bamboo filament from a Dutch company. It's a, a brand new material on the market. So that's actually real bamboo, like bamboo stalks, but in a filament form, and then you print with it. Yeah, it's wow. mixed with a PLA plastic. We've got another material here called Triton. This is a, a wrench that NASA actually printed, and uh, Triton's basically comparable to polycarbonate, so super high strength yeah. material. And you've got in your hand the... Uh, Why don't you tell us what this is? I, that, that feels pretty heavy, actually, heavier than those. It is, yeah, and this is actually a bronze filament, so it's a combination of a bronze powder and a PLA plastic. Again, showing that this industry is really just getting started, and an open platform like this is exactly what you want. Right, and I'm looking at some of the things you have on the table here, and the variety, like it's not only a variety of materials, but shapes and everything out of this one machine, because some of the printers are very specific and only print certain types of things. I mean, I'm looking at this. This object right here is very different, like you said, the brass and the bamboo. So it's something that, that someone really wants to get into 3D printing in a kind of a hacker space and do their own thing would thrive on. Yeah, that's definitely true, and we're happy. This is really easier than ever. So this is truly a consumer product, but you can learn as much as you want, and uh, we're excited about it. Okay. So now, what would this machine about? What would this cost someone right here, the one on the table? The one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars, and comes with a one-year warranty and customer support. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot, Harris. I appreciate it. This is really interesting stuff. Good luck with it. Yeah, thanks so much. Enjoy the show. Thanks a lot. For a new domain, I'm Todd Townsend.